Hi, I'm Shelly Wood and this is my tiny sewing room where I make doll clothes sewing videos. Today I'm going to show you how to make a little white cotton shirt, very simple little white cotton shirt to fit teeny tiny dolls like the six inch mini Elsa doll, the five and a half inch mini Anna dolls. These are of course both from Disney and then a number of other dolls in this size range. But before we begin, please go to my website, Shellywood.com, to download and print this free PDF sewing pattern. There's a link below. Use your pattern to cut out all the pieces shown here. Lay one bodice front on top of another bodice front, keeping right sides together. That means the pretty side touches the pretty side, especially if you're using a printed fabric like this one. Sew around the neck area, just like you see me doing there. Once you've finished sewing around the neck, carefully clip along the edge of the seam you've made. And you'll see me doing that right here. Now I've actually sped this up fast motion, so you want to really take your time to make sure you don't accidentally cut your seam. Invert the garment front and press that seam. So one of the things that can help with inverting, maybe not on this piece, but on future pieces, it's helpful to use a chopstick when you're inverting those tiny pieces. Set one of the bodice backs on top of another. And again, if you're using a printed fabric, you'll want to keep those right sides together. Sew around the neck down the back closure area. Here's another angle of the back closure area. And then along the bottom of the back. Tie a knot when you finish these stitches. And you'll want to follow these directions for both of your backs. Now clip your seams and corners. And that's what I'm doing here. I'm sorry you can't see my stitching as well. I used white thread here and I do recommend that you use thread that matches your fabric. Invert and press both back pieces. So here I am with my chopstick and it's going to help me poke out the corners gently. I give it a little twist and that can help. Lay one back on top of the bodice front. Stitch where they join at the shoulder. And I'll refer to that as the shoulder seam later on. So keep that in mind. Do the same for the other back piece. You lay it down and then stitch across. Now your garment should look like this. Open it up as shown and press the shoulder seams to flatten them. Turn it to the right side so it shows no stitching at all. Now pick up one of the sleeve pieces. Along the longest straight edge of your sleeve fabric, fold once and then a second time. I call this a double fold hem and whip stitch to hem this sleeve. Follow these directions for both sleeves and I have a whip stitch tutorial in the link below. Lay your sleeves alongside the bodice and stitch the sleeve to the bodice starting at the underarm and stitching up to just shy of the shoulder seam. You'll notice I'm about five millimeters from my seam right here. And I've tied a knot with my thread at that point. Pull the sleeve around to the other underarm like you see me doing in this video clip. So I just grab that little corner of the sleeve and then I pull it around to the underarm area of that back piece. And I try to align them nicely. Then I'm going to start stitching right where my thumb is pointing. 
Stitch again from the underarm to just shy of the shoulder seam, just like we did before. And there will be a tiny gap between the sleeve and the bodice. Usually the sleeve has a little more fabric. If there is enough fabric in the sleeve to do so, you're going to run a gather stitch at the top of the sleeve until the sleeve and bodice shoulder match in length. Then stitch the sleeve to the bodice shoulder, actually attach it. My gathers here are pink and my stitches are blue so you can tell the difference. Now your garment looks like this on the right side and it looks like this on the wrong side. And you'll want to follow the same directions to attach the other sleeve just like you did the first sleeve. Flip the garment over to the right side. Fold one sleeve in half like this so you can see the stitching and then stitch from the sleeves hem through the underarm area. And then you'll want to stop and tie a knot about seven millimeters from the bottom of your back piece. You don't want to finish this side seam just yet, trust me. Do the same with the other side, folding it down as well and stitching from the sleeves hem to part way down the side. Turn your bodice upside down like this and insert the raw edges of the bodice front inside in between the two bodice front pieces. It's important to make sure that your front is going to match up with the length of the back pieces and I'm sure this is complicated so I'm going to show you in video format as well. So you hold it like this kind of upside down, you open up the bodice front and then you start pushing in the edges of the bodice front inside the bodice front itself. What we're doing is sort of like making a sock puppet. And what you want to do is check to see is it the same length as the back and if not make an adjustment. And that's what I'm doing now. I'm making an adjustment, pulling it down just a little bit so that they will be the exact same length. Alright, so I fold those in and try to get them exactly the same length as the back piece. Now I'm going to whip stitch along the bottom of the bodice front. And that's what I'm doing right here. And you want to keep it well separated from the backs so you don't accidentally stitch it to the back. Now you're ready to finish sewing the side seams. Here's a closer look at the final side seam and you'll do that on both sides. Invert the garment and again your chopstick might help. Those sleeves are very tiny. Next you're going to sew a couple of snaps in the back and if you need help sewing snaps again there's a tutorial below. Now you're ready to try your shirt on a doll or dolls and look how adorable that is. With white cotton it looks good with everything from pants to shorts to skirts and it doesn't matter if it's a pattern or not. What if there was an easy way to take a big doll pattern and resize it to fit a little doll or vice versa? I'm Shelly Wood, the doll clothing designer, and in my pattern alteration class, I'm going to share with you my resizing formula. Pattern alteration is when you take a pattern that you already own and you make changes to it. Let's say a dress doesn't fit your doll quite right. I'll show you how to create a gusset to extend the dress's bodice. Along the same lines, I'll show you how to use a doll's body measurements to lengthen and shorten shirt sleeves and to recreate the pants patterns you already own so they will fit dolls of different shapes and sizes. Following my instructions, you'll learn how to reshape dresses and skirts, making them fuller or less full depending on the look you're going for. With this collection of more than 40 videos, you'll use my measurement guide and dozens of tips and tricks to create a full wardrobe for the dollar dolls of your choice. I invite you to join me. We are going to have so much fun.